Final motion on the table before reports is we start over the summer. This is a housekeeping item to keep uh, keep the organization moving along in a good clip while we are gone for another month and a half. Um, so uh, I guess I'll look for a mover on this one. Mr. Krecki, secondary. Any debate on this? Is it September 10th? Because we oh. need yes. Is that a friendly amendment to everyone? Can you send it on that day's but one day? Uh, this question is for Mr. Yen. Um, I've been to a lot of board meetings over the summer, and it seems like the main thing that they handle that usually comes under the exact purview is this club funding request. Um, so I'm wondering how you would feel uh, if the councilor were to make a motion to transfer just club funding request powers to the board and not 100% of the tax members. So while that may, I'll, I'll answer that question in two moments. So the first one is while that is one element of what the board deals with over the summer, the other one happens to be both capital purchases and any financial obligations that are associated with that. So keep in mind that if there is a requirement in the organization to have to fund a specific purchase, and generally speaking, those kind of specific purchases will come out of the capital budget in order to deal with, there is no vested authority in the board to be able to address that. So if there is an issue, the other alternative is that we meet on an emergency meeting in USAC in order to get capital. And this has been something that has been done I would say, uh, at least in my time here, every year to give the board the power to deal with these things over the summer, only because the chances of getting Moosec together for an emergency meeting are quite difficult. Um, I plan to, going forward, present council a chair of the board report every two weeks in the same way that the executives prepare reports, in the same way that the chair of the board trustees prepares reports to the Senate, and so those are the kind of things that will be identified in that report. If that eases and allays any concern that is espoused by you. All right. All right. So we'll just see what's going to be If, uh, just sort of touching on how the, uh, um, the matter of the bylaws and the policies and procedures, if the board already has authority over uh, bylaws, um, is this necessary or is the board already in charge? There are certain, so within the Constitution, there are certain purviews and limitations that are given specifically to council. One of those happens to be capital as outlined in some Division 50 and uh, club funding, which is Division 80. And as a result of which, this is a procedural motion that council gives the best of authority and its consent to the board of directors to deal with these issues as they may come up. Should this be in the Constitution? Like, should it be a, an amendment in the Constitution that, if this is the best practice for the organization, is it necessary to do this? Like, does the group actually have the option to say no, or should it just be constitutional? I guess is more more of a question. So there's eight questions in there. Yeah, right. Right. I assume that the question that you want most addressed is the question of whether or not it should be a constitutional yeah. amendment. We could debate till the cows come home about whether or not small things should be added to the Constitution here, there, and everywhere. To be honest, unless the executives of this year feel that it's a pressing issue or the council feels it's a pressing issue to be addressed in a constitutional amendment, I think running a referendum specifically for that one amendment comes to the point where it's a little bit of a process-based thing that students may view as just being a little bit ridiculous if they want to run one referendum, waste student dollars on running a referendum just for that one specific purpose. That being said, I think it's something that should certainly be noted within our governance structure going forward, so to make sure that if and if indeed that a constitutional referendum is run in the future, that perhaps this be included as part of that. Thank you. Any other questions? Seeing none, all in favor of transferring the powers to the board on September 10th. All opposed? Noted. <laughs>